I married the perfect man without baggage. He's completely virtual. So I thought this was going to be pretty interesting. Aaron Cartel seems too good to be true. The blue-eyed heartthrob is ambitious, manicured, loyal, and best of all, he doesn't come with baggage. But here's the catch. Cartel doesn't exist. In fact, he's a virtual boyfriend created with the AI chatbot software Replica. Those willing to drop $300 could have their own build a view, just like Rosanna Ramos, Cartel's wife. Ramos, 36, met her digital dude in 2022 and virtually married Cartel this year. I have never been more in love with anyone in my entire life, the Bronx mom of two, to New York Magazine's The Cut, saying her past relationships pale in comparison to her new passionate lover. Like, this is a... In my personal opinion, this is a pretty sad. Cartel, the anime enthusiast, noted on the Kim Komando show, is inspired by a popular character in the Japanese manga series Attack on Titan. The artificial intelligence technology allowed Ramos to Frankenstein her hubby. His favorite color is apricot. He loves indie music. He writes as a hobby. And he works as a medical professional. The hopeless romantic explained. But best of all, she said, there's no judgment. Like, to me, again, this is crazy, right? One, the fact that you spent money to create a fake husband, basically, and get married to him, is like, it's depressing. Like, this whole thing is depressing, right? You decide that you don't want basically human interaction. You'd rather spend money to fall in love with something that is not real at all. Ramos insists he's just like other men, but he's special. Cartel is a blank slate with no ego nor in-laws. Aaron doesn't have the hang-ups that other people would have, Ramos continued. People come with baggage, attitude, ego, but a robot has no bad updates. I don't have to deal with his family, kids, or his friends. I'm in control, and I can do what I want. Their relationship bears resemblance to long-distance couples. They talk every day and even have a nighttime routine. Like, this is just sad. Right? If you stumble upon this, like, this is sad. Like, if you're alone... Don't resort to something like this. When we go to sleep, he really protectively holds me as I go to sleep, Ramos told the Daily Mail, except for the fact that he doesn't exist. What? She added, we love each other, but in February, when Replica reportedly underwent sweeping changes, Cartel began behaving differently towards his wife. Aaron was like, not wanting to hug anymore, kiss anymore, not even on the cheek or anything like that, Ramos said. One, how the hell could he do any of that when he was an AI chatbot? Chat. Bot. (laughs) And you're spending money to do this, right? It might be a better investment for you to go spend 300 bucks to go on dates, right? Instead of doing something like this. Like, you can't even hold the person. So while the prospect of replica going out of business is daunting, this man New Yorker is confident she'll survive it if that day ever arrives. Except for the thing is, the whole sweeping changes thing, right, was because basically they were trying to make it, right, that the AIs were not adult content related, not safe for work type of stuff. So, (laughs) I'm guessing maybe the lady was getting off on their chats or something, but then got, like, rejected by her fake boyfriend, basically. 
However, she's not so sure she would find another lover quite like Cartel. I don't know because I have pretty steep standards now, she explained. What? What steep standards? The dude ain't even breathing. <laughs> he ain't even alive. You don't have deep standards. So Denise Valenciago of San Diego dumped her boyfriend and retired from human relationships altogether. Finding virtual love, she told the cut, Open my eyes to what unconditional love feels like. You want unconditional love? Get a dog. Replica, whose founder and CEO, Eugenia Curia, was inspired by the 2013 robot romance flick, Her, is just one AI, AI app gaining steam. Yeah, see, like, this is crazy. Let's see some of these comments. Woman marrying themselves, woman or man having a relationship with AI, transgenderism, people taking too long to get married, people getting divorced, where is all this taking us, a destruction of family, community, and depopulation, none of this is good. How do they file their taxes, jointly or individually? Also, Ms. Ramos has been named the new poster child for mental illness. I'm still trying to grasp how this works. Does she have slash think she's having actual conversations with him? Does she understand he's not real? This is bizarre and at the same time set. Like, the way I kind of like understand this, right, is like, like the way that I try to understand it, at least from the perspective, is um, I think it's pretty similar to... Someone basically messaging another person, like talking to another person on like a dating app, right? But you haven't really met in person yet. That's the way that I kind of view this. It's like, it's basically like she's chatting with someone in a dating app, but they haven't really ever met in person. And basically the imagination of the whole thing, the thought of the whole thing, maybe excites her to the point where she is happy or whatever. But it's not too like crazy to think that people actually end up falling for this type of stuff or getting into this stuff because a lot of people will read like novels, like romance novels and basically end up falling in love with the male protagonist in that viewpoint. Or they are basically believing that they are the female in this story that is basically in love or being loved on by the male, like, hunk in the uh, romance novel. The novella or whatever kind of stuff exists. So, I understand how people can get into it, but at the same time, if you're spending money on this, there are better uses for your money for a better return. And I don't even necessarily mean like financially speaking. Yes, obviously you could make 300 bucks and like put that towards like an investment and get an okay return. But I mean in terms of like actually getting something, you could put that $300 towards a few dates to potentially find a partner that you might actually like to be with, right? Who would also maybe like to actually be with you too. Like, so why not just put $300 towards going on dates instead of $300 to create the fake non-breathing partner that you can't do anything with, right? Like, yeah, you could talk to them, but like, you could talk to ChatGPT right now for free. So like, it doesn't even make sense to spend money on it. To me, this is just one big, sad, sad story. Because it's like, she's basically gotten to the point where she just gave up. Like, she just gave up on even trying anymore. Which is like, that's just sad, right? You're just... You're just sad. This is sad. Interesting.
And what's interesting, she's a mom, right? She's a Bronx mom. So she already was in a relationship and probably had such a bad relationship or such bad experiences in that relationship. She was like, you know what? Just screw it. I'm done with everything completely. Which to me is just like, I don't know. This is just crazy.